What's up ladies and gentlemen and all my knife lovers, the Ontario ON 8727 Morta Fixed Blade Knife. Alright guys, the story behind this briefly. I was on Optics Planet, OpticsPlanet.com. I was looking for some parts for my rifle. I saw a couple of cool knives and you know, the little advertisements they show you on the sidebar. And I came across this. This thing was discounted from like $160 down to like $69. And it said clearance. So I'm like, how bad could it be? I did a little bit of research, checked some reviews. It ended up being, this thing is like a hidden gold mine that got past all of our radars somehow. I'm a big fixed blade fanatic. You see a lot of fixed blades in my videos, but when I do make a review on a fixed blade usually a little bit more expensive you got to talk about the steels the hardness the rigidity you know the the weather the elemental resistance and how well it holds up overall ontario knives has a, a reputation that precedes it for the most part really doesn't need an introduction but this thing when i saw it it had an aesthetic kind of magnetism that pulled me in in addition to all the good stuff i've read about it so inside the box you got your typical bubble wrap stuff you got the knife with a protective cardboard layer and then you got your santa's gun hide sheath with a nylon over wrap here little warranty card and all that right off the bat you can't tell me this design doesn't just pull you in flat grind beautiful bead blast coating it gives it that se carbon steel finish even though this is a high carbon 420 stainless it's in the neighborhood of between 53 and 57 pardon us rockwell <laughs> however they say it right now i can't talk like two in the morning and the reason i'm doing this video at this time is because i've literally been so busy as you can see it's been over a month that i did my last video i really haven't had a time to get to this and i've been dying to make this video too because I'm so excited about this knife when I finally got it I was jumping off the walls a blade thickness of 0.15 of an inch so it's not the thickest blade ever I know you guys out there that like to do your food prep and your camping and maybe even a little bit of skinning you love this kind of stuff just a beautiful blade shape I mean it's got that drop point style this flat grind that just comes immediately lateral about half an inch up from the end of the pommel here it's got a nice little finger choil it's got jimping here right there it's got the black and blue g10 i mean look at the design of these scales it looks like some kind of like aquatic fire dragon or something i don't know i'm a retard when it comes to references but it's so textile your hand it feels like you can't just lose grip of it i mean it's just amazing 0.39 centimeter blade thickness for you guys that live in limited states from the beginning of the blade to the tip it's four inches and from the pommel it's actually about four and a quarter very nicely guarded area here where your thumb can equally rest to apply some force to any kind of serious cutting tasks the weight amazing 5.6 ounces 100% made in the USA fits in the sheath like a glove I've already tried this earlier snaps very securely I've had a lot of gripes in the past about oh my god the knife is so fantastic but the sheath sucks this is not one of them you're gonna be pleased with the way this sheath is made it's simplistic enough that it's just a standard belt loop you can carry it like this on your belt either side obviously ambidextrous construction of it it doesn't seem like it's gonna fall apart anytime soon the snap mechanism very sturdy everything looks good overall I love this knife so damn much I'm pretty sure you will too and I'm just so surprised that this knife didn't sell more I mean, I know that marketing is not like a forefront of most companies I mean Kershaw now goes above and beyond with their super cool technological videos of their knives all this cool CG animation for their knife videos But you know Ontario is just a good old beat em up reliable company that makes knives in the USA Like I said before the reputation precedes them you get what you pay for if you're looking for something That's like a fixed blade, but like on the compact side, but not too too small like the Ozark trail fixed blade knives that are review a little while back something just kind of like in the small medium range that you could just carry in your person and not feel like you're carrying anything 5.6 ounces is a pretty amazing weight most of the SEs are about a pound or just shy of this is just a great great companion for anything whether you use it for utility camping hunting skinning anything that I can imagine at least I don't see anything that this wouldn't take care of now always bear in mind that it is stainless and the structural rigidity of stainless behave a little differently than carbon steel if you're used to using a carbon steel fix blade for everything you can't just jump into a stainless blade and treat it the exact same you're gonna treat this like your Gerber prodigies like your tops knives the ones that are stainless anyhow like the se4 stainless always keep in mind you're gonna use a knife for what it's made for if you guys already own one of these and you like it or don't please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it I really want to know what other opinions are out there on this knife I tried searching on YouTube I didn't see any reviews on this I think I found one of them it was in Russian language so I couldn't really absorb it the way I wanted thank you guys I love you guys thanks for visiting again and look forward to more videos just hit the like subscribe and the bell you won't miss a video when i come out with a new one all right guys i'll talk to you later